So let's talk about Bob's impression. We know where it came from. It's all those interactions he's had with your company and the outside world. And as I mentioned, wouldn't it be great if we could measure it? Well, after years of research, building on guys like Maslow, Hertzberg, McClellan, Litwin and Stringer at Harvard Business School, we've been able to figure out a tool that does a much better job of measuring Bob's experience. The current tools that are out there are mostly satisfaction tools. And what we find is they don't work so well anymore. They used to work great where products were kind of iffy on the quality. It wasn't so much that we were satisfied with the products that worked, we were so dissatisfied with the products and services that didn't work. Today, after 20 years of Malcolm Baldridge Award, ISO 9000, quality circles, pretty much every product delivers what it says it's going to deliver. And so now, if we want Bob to be loyal, it's not enough just to deliver a great product. That's what he paid you for. We've got to motivate him to go up, to be loyal to us, to go think about us in a much more positive light. And so that's where we started our research. How do you measure what the scientists call aroused motivation? Have we motivated Bob to want to do business with us? So let's talk about that motivation. What the science tells us is that every guy out there, every woman who's a buyer of ours who wants to be in a strategic partnership relationship, these kind of B2B clients, they're looking for six things from you. The first is an aspect we call integrity. Integrity is do they believe that you're reliable, dependable, that you're going to do what you say. The second thing they're looking for from you is what we call competency. Competency is do they believe you have the people, the skills, the tools, the experience to actually deliver what you've promised them. These two are the basic satisfiers. To be quite honest, if you can't deliver what you promised them when you promised them, you have no basis for an ongoing relationship with them. You want to go back and deliver what you promised them. But simply doing these two things isn't enough anymore. Pretty much every one of your competitors can do those things. That's the ticket to the game. If you want to actually start building long-term loyal client relationships, motivating your clients to want to do business with you, you've got to look for four additional aspects. The first is what we call recognition. If I'm your client, have you done anything to make me feel my business is important to you, or am I just a number? Then comes what we call proactivity. Proactivity is, do I believe you're looking out for my best interest, that I'm not going to encounter some surprise down the road? If you promised a report's going to be here next Tuesday, I'm not worried that Monday night you're going to call me up and say it's not ready. I know you're looking out for me. Then comes savvy. Savvy is an interesting one. Savvy is the flip side of competency. Competency is, do I think you know your business? Savvy is, do I, as your client, think you know my business? Think about it. Why would you take advice from someone about how to improve their business if you didn't think they understood what was important to you, what you're trying to achieve, both personally and in the business? That's what savvy is all about. That's how you become a trusted advisor. And finally, the last dimension is what we call chemistry. Frankly, do I like working with you? Is our communication pleasant? Do we click? These six things are what every business buyer is looking for from their supplier. When these scores are low, I start looking around for someone else. When these are high, I believe I'm getting good value. I believe I've got a trusted advisor. I believe I have a strategic partner. And all those great behaviors come. Greater share of wallet, repurchase rate, referrals, etc.